that is a tough act to follow. <laughs> and you, I couldn't keep up with you because I had two bad weeks. <laughs> now I have two good weeks. And I'll challenge you to stay ahead of me. But you'll probably pass me out. You're in better shape than I am. You know, what Themis has said is very true. Family, friends, it's in your integrity. If you don't have that, if your word doesn't mean anything, you're a hero. Anybody can say things, but could you stand behind them and make things happen for the right reasons? For the right reasons. Not just for a political party or to make yourself feel good for saying something. So, you know, I had a difficult time with this speech here because it was at least probably three times longer. Because we sort of got hung up on all the accomplishments that I won't say I've done. My team has done. The Board of Aldermen, the Treasurer, the Board of Education, the Tax Board. You know, and there'll be some that will be missed like Julia. Without a, a dedicated team, you can't get as much accomplished as we have done this past four years, or three and a half years. I just can't believe it. Since I had a difficult time cutting out some of my, some of our accomplishments. So I would like to get started. And just please put up with me a little bit because remember, I'm not a good speaker. I'm not a politician where everybody, uh, all my team gets upset at me, but I've learned to be as a politician. Thank you. Thank you for your continued support. I am humbled to accept your nomination. I have deep love for our country, our city, and our form of government. Our city is special to all of us. And thank you for asking me to again be your candidate for mayor. I come from parents who taught me it is not just words, but actions that prove the quality of a human being. This upbringing of my parents naturally led me to serve our country as a member of the armed services defending the way of life we love and cherish. Our government honored me in my service with a Purple Heart. In receiving the Purple Heart, I constantly have within my mind, the thought of 20 young men laying within my feet who gave their ultimate sacrifice for our country. That memory of those 20 men, excuse me for being a little emotional, and all the other men and women who give of themselves in defending you, me, and our form of life, drives me day after day, motivating me to do my absolute best as your mayor, and making tomorrow better than today. Almost four years ago, I entered City Hall as a newly elected mayor, only to find the, the computers wiped clean of all information. Backup tapes having been, having disappeared. I mean, the private information of all our city employees just disappeared. And finding files had been shredded. Shredding was going on for a month. Those actions motivated me to move forward even more aggressively. Tonight begins the election season. I believe an election should be an evaluation of accomplishments and past experience. I believe a comparison of our accomplishments and our experience favorably compares us with any opponent. I have moved our city in a positive direction 
providing the best of services for the least amount of money. It is also my responsibility to keep our government in good financial order. In a time of massive corporate and small business layoffs, weakening economic conditions, dwindling savings and retirement accounts, the city of Derby to co continues to have solid financial performance. The city's fund balance is a strong 8.34%. Under my leadership, we have continued to keep the city's debt in check, minimizing the interest costs that future generations will end up paying. Our debt as a percent of expenditures is 5.57%. Our bond rating is now AA minus. That is the highest rating our city of Derby has ever attained. another Derby first, and Derby has a lot of firsts. We have joined with other cities such as Monroe, Shelton, Watertown with the same ratings. One of the major tools of evaluation used by rating agencies is the structure and effectiveness of management. The high bond rating is substantially due to that effectiveness of management. I believe our team, our Board of Aldermen, our Tax Board, and of our Treasurer in joining with me in the direction that I have sought deserve much recognition not only by you, but all the citizens of Derby. With our new bond rating, we refinance some of our previous bonds, thus saving the taxpayers $334,624. In the fiscal 2009 and 2010. We have created a budget with no new taxes on our citizens. insisted on no increased taxes. Our city unions joined in that effort by accepting no pay increases. The non-union employees also joined in that effort. Even with the no new taxes, we took efforts in providing our educational system with the money that they asked for. The increase in educational spending was the highest by percentage at, as any city in our state.